Hey everyone, welcome to a new video and today I have for you the Xperia Play. This is a beautiful handheld smartphone with some crazy controls on it. Almost first of its kind. And instead of a keyboard on the slider, here it is. We have game controls, D-pad and everything and touch analog. It's pretty sweet. So in this video I wanted to talk about capacities and according to Sony, the maximum size is 32 gigabytes uh, for the micro SD card. But I've seen some larger ones. Someone did use 128 gigabyte. And I'm going to experiment with that in this video. So yeah, let's check it out. And I've read online that you can actually have a lot more storage on this device than what Sony actually initially had on their specs. So this is a very interesting smartphone, and this is what makes it very special. But anyways, I just wanted to focus on storage in this video and what kind of storage we can get for the Sony Ericsson Xperia Play. Now, I've read online that someone did actually manage to get 128 to work properly on this little guy. And the reason why you would want so much capacity is because this actually is an excellent little device for playing PS1 games and we all know that those PS1 games are pretty large uh, especially those Final Fantasy games or those ones that double down with dual discs um, or if you just have a huge collection of those uh, saved on your PC or whatever and you want to transfer it over to your Xperia Play they will take up somewhat of space and obviously the internal storage is not enough and the Xperia Play does come included with some default games, which are very fun. Like I did play Asphalt 6. This is such a fun game. But anyways, uh, the storage is important, especially if you want to root your smartphone and add a bunch of fun stuff to it, which I'll definitely cover here in the next coming weeks. But this is a fun handheld and I really want to get into it. But I wanted to see what kind of storage can we possibly get. What's the highest that's possible on this handheld? So I did a little digging and a little investigation. And the, uh, the highest at the time of the uh, initial request was like 64. So they doubled down on the gigabyte space, which is great. Then someone came along and added a 128 gigabyte card. And this actually works on the Sony Ericsson. This 128 gigabyte card does work. And it's currently formatted to FAT32. Let's go back here. And let's check out the settings. And under storage, it's currently 29.80 gigabytes. That is the 32 gigabyte card installed. So let's unmount the SD card. So now we can safely remove the card and let's, it's a little difficult to open it like this. I like to have the slider open and then prop it. It's not that easy, but here's the SD card slot. So there's the 32. I'm using a Samsung Evo. The Samsung cards are pretty solid for the most part. A lot of people like SanDisk, but Samsung does work. So let's try the 128. This is formatted to FAT32. And I'll be putting this back on. We always get that message saying, hey, you need to put the uh, cover back on the phone. Now we're getting a total space of 119 gigabytes. So 128 gigabyte does work. According to Sony, the maximum micro SD card capacity is 32 gigabytes. And they have not changed that since then. So we have 128 installed. Now, I had a 256 lying around here. Beautiful size. This is plenty for a lot of emulators, ROMs, ISOs, and stuff like that. And I wanted to see if this would work. So that one is formatted to FAT32. I removed all the data from that card. And now we're going to test out to see what we get. 
Now, in theory, it should work as long as it's formatted to FAT32. So let's plug it right in. Let's put the cover completely back on. Let's clean that out. Let's cancel. And we now have a total space of 238. Wow. So a 256 gigabyte card does work. Man, I wish I had a 512 so I can test that. But I know that it would work as long as you format it correctly to FAT32. I did test it with EXFAT. That didn't work. I also had the other format, which is NTFS, I believe. That didn't work either. So, yeah, FAT32 is the way to go. And it works just fine. You can see there. So I'll unmount SD card and let's mount it. And there we go, 238 gigabytes. That is awesome. And I'm very excited to bring you more videos on this amazing little handheld. And it's by far one of my favorites in my collection. And I'm grateful and thankful to have one in my collection because these are very hard to come by. They're hard to acquire and they're not easy to uh, buy on eBay. They get swiped up fairly quickly. So if you do have one, props to you and you should be very happy about that. And there is a white one, which is extremely hard to find, but I'm happy with just uh, the regular one here, the regular blue but yeah, that is it for this one, guys. I just wanted to share with you my discovery on the SD capacity on the Xperia Play. And I'll be covering a lot more videos where I'm going to be completely rooting the whole smartphone so we can unlock some goodies on it and have some fun with some emulators and plugins and so on and so forth. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything like this in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys on the next one.